Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of June 3rd through June 9th. And for those of you that are new to my channel, memory spreads are ones that are created after the week is already over. So basically I'm not really planning ahead. It's more of a journal slash a scrapbook, um, but I just use the term plan with me because that's what everyone's familiar with. Um, so anyways, for this week I have a really cute summer themed kit. This is from a new shop called Sugar Bell Paper. I'll link her her, um, information down below so you guys can check out her shop um, she has some really cute kits and this one definitely caught my eye so when she when the owner reached out and asked if I would like to try out her stickers I was really excited to pick up this one um, so anyways really quickly I want to go over what's included in the kit here we have eight full boxes here we have the headers and some little things as well as some glitter headers at the bottom on this page we have the quarter boxes and half boxes here we have the bottom washi two habit trackers and a set of date covers on this page, we have the weekend banner. We have two Monday through Sunday boxes for the sidebar. We have two half boxes and then these like solid patterned washi strips across the side. And then the last page included has four ombre heart checklists. We have these check flags and then just some flags um, in the corner. So yeah, it's definitely a very full kit. This formatting is a little different, I think mostly because her paper size is a little bit smaller. And so it just uh, looks a little different, but it generally has like all the elements of a kit that you would normally have. So anyways, I am really excited to start this week. Um, Thursday was the last day of school for the students that I work with and so this was definitely a very exciting week. So that's why I decided to choose a very fun summery kit to mark that it was kind of like the start of summer break. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and um, I will explain what I do as I go along. For this week, I decided to pull in the Scotch Expressions Gold Glitter Washi. Um, I picked this up at Target like two years ago, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but um, I used to really love pulling this into spreads, and I realized that I haven't done that in a while, so I definitely wanted to bring it back. Um, the only downside is that the washi is so pretty in real life, but for some reason on the camera, it picks up as like a really yellow, um, like I don't know, a really yellow tone. So I don't really like the way that it looks on camera, um, both filmed and in photos, but it's like so pretty in real life but anyways um, then moving to my sidebar I put down the quote box in the top corner and then I put down all the date covers um, at the top I did realize that I forgot to put in the dates of the date covers so I do fill that in at the very end off camera Continuing with my sidebar, I pulled in the rest of that gold glitter washi that I had cut up, and um, I actually pulled those in as headers throughout the week. So I put one on the sidebar first, then I used a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I put down a little things with the first Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments of the week. I then put down another little things with the second box to track my dinners, and this is how I've been marking my sidebar for quite a while now. And because there was a little bit of space at the bottom, I put down a strip of washi just to fill up that space. Moving to Monday, I first started by putting down a strip of that gold washi, and then I used a little things from the kit with a coffee sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper to mark that I had um, a matcha latte that morning. I actually made it at home, so I did not get it at Starbucks that day. And then I put down this laptop sticker from, I think that's from Rath Barrel Designs, um, because I did upload my plan with me that morning. Um, I used a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I put down a full box underneath. I used a quarter box to mark my workout and that shoe sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then at the bottom, I put down a half box with a movie night sticker that I found in my little leftovers book. And um, I used that to mark that we watched Always Be My Maybe on Netflix, which was such a good movie. It stars Ali Wong, who is like a really funny comedian. And I definitely recommend that movie because it's so cute. And then um, I moved to Tuesday. So for Tuesday, I first started by putting down a full box at the top. I pulled in these balloon stickers from Kylie and Chaos, but I don't think she sells those anymore, unfortunately. And I used my Pilot brush lettering pen to mark that I did my last testing session of the year, which is very exciting. And then I put down a Today header with a half box um, to mark that my coworkers and I went and got some lunch. This was probably like the first time all year that we've gotten to go out to lunch together, um, so it was definitely something that I wanted to note. The taco plate sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I then used another half box to mark our staff versus fifth grade softball game. Um, I didn't actually play because I am like the least athletic person I know, but it's always fun to go and cheer on my fellow staff members. Um, the sunglasses sticker is also from Hazel Sticker, and I just decided to pull that in because I didn't have any softball specific stickers. 
I then put down a beer sticker from Kina Prince. I love that girl with the beard, so cute, um, to mark that we did a celebration party at one of my coworkers house to mark the end of the school year. And then I ended up moving things around a little bit. So at the bottom, I initially put down a quarter box and then I realized I forgot to use one of the glitter washies on Tuesday. So instead I put down a quarter box and replaced the beer sticker to mark the party. At the end of the night, um, we just watched a show called Kim's Convenience, which I love. It's so funny. Um, but anyways, that TV icon I think is from my spoiled planner. And for this part, I had so much trouble writing it in because the word convenience is so long and it didn't really fit with that TV. So I was like doing a lot to try to make everything fit. And eventually I had to write Kim's on the corner of one of the sticker pages because I had whited out so much that it made the paper really bumpy to write on. And I found that to be a really great way to fix those type of situations. Um, so anyways, then Wednesday, I put down a full box at the bottom of the day. I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then um, I moved back to the top and start by placing down a yellow washi strip with a meeting script sticker from Nightingale Paper Co. I then put down a half box with a flag sticker from Echo Hui Craft Co. And I just wrote an IEP myself so that I knew that that was for an IEP meeting. And then um, I had another IEP afterwards. So I used an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that one. Those were my last two IEP meetings of the year, which again is so exciting. Um, this last week is always the best because you're just wrapping things up and everything's like the last of the year. So yeah, it was a great week. Moving on, I put down a strip of the glitter washi again with a quarter box and that computer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then replaced the IEP flag for a light blue one instead because I felt like that pink one was a little bit too bright for my liking. Um, I switched the placement of the quarter box and the washi strip and then I found this appointment label that was in my leftovers collection. I pulled that in to mark a workout that I did that afternoon. That adorable workout girl sticker is from Whimsical Cat Studio. I then filmed a plan with me that evening, so I pulled in this really cute YouTube girl sticker from Paper Bear Co., which is one of my new favorite shops. On Thursday, I first started by putting down a strip of the glitter washi and then used a full box with a cheering girl from Art Box Stickers to mark that it was the last day of school for our students. And even though I still had work for like two more weeks after this, um, this is still a really exciting day because once the students are gone, it's just like really easy from there. Um, and then I used a taco sticker from a happy blue tree to mark that my coworkers and I did a brunch that morning. Um, we had some tacos and burritos, so that was a perfect sticker to pull in. I then decided to work from the bottom up because there was so much that happened later that day and I wanted to make sure I had enough space to mark everything that I wanted. So I first put down um, a couple quarter boxes um, and then above that I used a three heart checklist and I put down another yellow washi strip. Initially I had put down a little things but I didn't like the color combo of that so I switched it out to a yellow washi strip. That important script sticker is from K Stickers Co. And then one of the things I did was to stop by my P.O. box. So I pulled in that cute mail icon and that is from my Peachy Printables. To mark date night, I pulled in this cute Maru um, couple sticker from Paper and Milk. And then on that first quarter box, I marked um, where we had bought a few things. We went to Daiso and Trader Joe's. That grocery icon is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then we watched a few episodes of this show called Dead to Me. It was a little bit too scary for me because I'm kind of a wuss. Um, but anyways, that TV icon is from the Sparkly Studio. At the end of the night, I picked up one of my best friends from the airport because she was visiting for the weekend. And so she slept over at my house that night. And that really cute airplane sticker is from my spoiled planner. Then moving on to Friday, first I put down a today header with a flag that I put sideways and I used this really happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that my friend actually came to work with me that day. Since there were no students, it was just a day to pack up everything and so it was perfect because she was able to help me um, pack everything in my office for the summer. And then we went and got some lunch together at a nearby cafe. That toast sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. I then went and said goodbye to my coworkers because for many of them, this was their last work day. And then I put down a full box underneath that and I just love that mermaid so much. I think she's so fabulous. And then at the bottom, I put down a movie marquee because my friends and I went and watched a movie that night. Um, it was a little bit too short for this box. I think it was maybe intended for a different planner, but I just um, placed it in the middle anyway. And then above that, I used a strip of the glitter washi with a half box that I pulled in from my leftover stash. And that night, my friend who had 
had come in the night before was actually surprising another friend for her birthday for the weekend. And so we surprised her at Din Tai Fung, which is one of our favorite restaurants. And I was just going to write surprise, but I accidentally wrote like two R's instead of like the P. And so I just ended up writing surprise. Um, that was like the only way I could think of to fix it because I didn't want to waste that half box. And then um, afterwards, we went and watched the movie Booksmart. So I did some hand lettering for that. And I believe I also used my Pilot brush lettering pen. Moving to the weekend, I first started by placing down um, this washi strip as a background and I layered the weekend banner right over it. However, when I cut the washi strip, I realized that the weekend banner was really off center. I tried to lift up the weekend banner by itself, but it was really stuck to the washi. So I decided to just cut off a little bit of the front of the washi strip. I don't know if you can really tell. And then I stuck it on the back and that totally fixed the problem. So I was really glad that I thought of that. And then for Sunday, I placed down the full box at the top first because I already knew that's where I wanted it. On Saturday, I made breakfast for me and my friend, and so I put that on a little things, and then we watched this movie on Netflix called Someone Great, and it was so good, you guys. I totally cried. I thought it was so cute and sweet. Um, so yeah, initially, I just wrote that on my planner, but I decided I wanted to pull in a pink half box underneath that, so I go ahead and white everything out and then rewrite it on the half box. That TV sticker is from Brandy Shop, and then we went and got some boba, so I put down a boba sticker from Paper Bear Co. We then went and got pizza at one of our favorite spots called Pizza Port, so I used a pizza sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that, and initially I had put down a half box to mark that we went to the pool that day, but then I found this perfect pool day sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, so I decided to pull that in instead because it matched this kit so well. I then decided to move the glitter washi strip on Friday, um, so I put it above the full box instead. And then moving back to Saturday, I used a strip of that glitter washi above the full box as well. On Saturday night, we celebrated my friend's 30th birthday, so I put down this adorable um, girl holding balloon sticker that is from Paper Bear Co. And I got that as part of a sampler, but now I feel like I want an entire sheet of that because it's so cute. And to celebrate, we got some drinks and watched fireworks at a bar that was really close to Disneyland, so it was really perfect. They even played like Disney music to accompany the fireworks. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, that was the end of our Saturday night. So moving to Sunday, initially I put down a quarter box under the Full box but then I decided I wanted to include a glitter washi above that full box so I go ahead and lift it up luckily it didn't rip or anything um, and then I replaced that quarter box I had initially put down I used an airplane sticker from paper and milk to mark that I dropped my friend back off at the airport I had to say goodbye to her which is so sad and then I layered a couple strips of washi together to make like a little um, box where I put down a burrito sticker from plans with the nest to mark that we got some breakfast burritos at this place called taco grill at the bottom, I used a half box with a rib sticker from Happy Diet Sticker to mark where we got dinner. And then moving to the remaining space, I used a strip of washi, I believe, with a Nap Queen sticker that's from MJ and Hope to mark that I took a nap after we had our huge breakfast burritos. And then I did some shopping at Marshall's and Target. Um, the bag sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. And that night, we celebrated another friend's birthday at a rib restaurant. So that sticker was perfect to mark the occasion. That is it for my week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar and track everything that I did. I'm noticing now that I didn't do very well with my workouts because I had quite a busy weekend, but that's okay because I think I made up for it the following week. And I didn't have a flag to cover up the flag in the top corner of my planner, so instead I pulled in this really cute sun sticker from Paper and Milk, which is part of her summer sheet. I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left from this kit. And yeah, that is it for this week's spread. I'm so obsessed with how this came out. I think this was a perfect kit to mark the end of the school year um, because it's just so bright and summery and fun. Um, and yeah, I had so much fun planning this. I really, really miss planning and it feels really good to get back into it. So I'm hoping I will be able to record a couple more videos before my summer is over. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I forgot to mention anything. And yeah, thank you so so much for watching as usual. I always appreciate the support and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.